welcome to Dassault Systems 3D Experience Forum in Adelaide, Australia, and I'm delighted now to be joined by Pierre Machadé. Yes. I tried. I the Vice President <laughs> of Innovation and Strategy and Business Transformation. So, Pierre, thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to ask you, I know that uh, you sat in on the Space Roundtable. Tell me about the discussions around space and, and digital transformation. How does it all fit together? So, uh, first of all, I think that for many people, space uh, is quite interesting because it's the uh, ultimate innovation place, in a way. And I think that many people dream about space. You know, it can be space when you look at Earth, in order to know a little bit more about this little planet. Mm -hmm. And uh, al also when you look at deep space programs, you know, to go on the Moon again, and uh, to go to Mars and wherever. I think that many people dream about that. Mm -hmm. And that's interesting because I do think that for well, uh, let's say mainly our customers and partners, they do dream. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I think that ultimately uh, the, the fool is not the one who is dreaming, but the fool is the one who stopped dreaming. Mm -hmm. And the good point is with Dassault system tools and solutions, um, a lot of people do have the opportunity to say to make the dream come true. First of all, if I have a dream, I can show you my dream with 3D, with yeah. models, with yes. a lot of things like that. So I think it's interesting to give this opportunity to Australian companies, small and medium enterprise, big enterprise, government, state, it to be there. There is a bit of a, as you say, a romantic notion around, around space, but in reality, it would be the same approach uh, that you would use across many other industries to some degree. Exactly, exactly. So it's always starting with, uh, let's say, a, a concept, an idea, mm -hmm. a dream. And then after that, you have to make people collaborate in order to have, let's say, the best skills, the best, uh, the best competencies. And to make this dream come true, you need engineers, you need uh, marketers, you need communication people, you need everybody in order to make this dream come true. And all solutions are there in order to make people collaborate, to make, uh, let's say, to, make, to help them to design their dream and make it happen. So based on the conversations that, you, that you've been privy to, what do you think will be some of the trends perhaps that we might see in either space exploration or space travel? What does the future look like? So the, f the, the, the interesting point is, if you look at uh, what happened during the past five years, mm -hmm. we uh, did see many companies which were not there 10 years ago. Mm. And they totally changed the game in the space mm. industry. Uh, look at, for example, the Blue Origin, or uh, if you look at uh, uh, Zero to Infinity or SpaceX, all these people, basically, they changed the paradigm. I in it's space. no longer just NASA. No. Yeah. And you don't have uh, to uh, start with, an, uh, let's say, a legacy based on, uh, let's say, a number of years of experience. It's always good to have experience, of course. But something which is very interesting for Australia right now is um, you can start now thinking about space without these 30 years, 40 years, 50 years of legacy. You can really consider going, let's say, uh, in space or have, let's say, a space industry without having this path, very long and very tough. And that's because of how we can now use data? Exactly. You can use data, you can use uh, the collaboration, you yeah. can use also tools which are more and more powerful in order to design new systems. If you want to go in space, you can create, let's say, a launcher, a rocket or whatever, using a lot of information which are already there. And, and so when you look at the, uh, the young students w around the globe, but also here in, in Adelaide and in South Australia, what fire would you like to flame within them to get them as excited as clearly the team at Dassault Systems are? So, uh, interesting point, you know, uh, I had the opportunity to meet the team at Blue Origin. So, Blue Origin is a company owned by Jeff Bezos, the Amazon uh, owner. And uh, when I went there in the Moyavi uh, desert, you know, I faced a young student coming from the MIT and uh, quite old engineers who worked on the Apollo A11. Yeah. So, can you imagine, the, the, let's say, the the shock of uh, you know the two generations yeah. and what was just amazing was the, the you know this flame this passion that they have they have a dream some already did part of this, this dream yeah. but they were dreaming again about going back to space and the young one said okay but let's change the paradigm let's make rocket that can uh, let's say go back earth land can be reusable divide the price by four, things like that. You know, they are sometimes more business oriented. And that's why, you know, we help them to think about 
I, I was about to say, is that part of the role for Dassault System to almost be a conduit to uh, a new conversation between an old way of thinking and a, a new way of thinking? Well, the fact is that we are a kind of catalyst, yeah. in a way, yeah. in order to show that dream is possible, first of all. The technology is there, but we are not dealing only with engineers. I think that uh, the purpose that we have in the Dassault System, uh, uh, led by the, uh, Bernard Charles, or president and uh, and chairman mm. uh, is uh, very interesting. It's uh, how to harmonize product, nature, and life. So we have to give the opportunity to people about creating something new, mm. uh, let's say from scratch sometime. Let's say um, do not have the pressure coming from the legacy, from the history, and start something. And uh, in order to create something, you have to test, you have to simulate, and why? Virtual world are very interesting. It's because in the virtual world, if something is wrong, you press the undo button, yeah. which is not the case in reality. Absolutely. Um, we're very excited that the 3D Experience Forum is here in Adelaide and in Australia for the first time. How significant do you see that as a mark of Dassault Systems' faith in the Australian market? So, honestly, we came, I think, one year ago with uh, the team here and we made uh, amazing people. Uh, they, they, they are passionate about uh, the, 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 the potential development and uh, we, we discovered very smart people because um, they did quite well their homework. Just to say that having, let's say, uh, faced an issue in the industry was not, let's say, a punishment in a way, but an opportunity. So uh, when we came here, we discovered that, of course, there was a uh, let's say a uh, long history in industry and especially with transportation and mobility with the car industry here in Adelaide Indeed, yeah. and and uh, then after that some people can say okay so industry in Australia is not there anymore but that's not the case but I think that is also the platform that says you're ripe for transformation that the slate has been wiped clean so that's why you know when we started for example the the, the project with virtual shipyard uh, we, we face people who uh, created this virtual shipyard program in order to be connected to the rest of the world. With the digital approach, you can be connected for, let's say, with whoever you want in the world. You know, the, 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 the distance, you don't care about the distance anymore. You can be, let's say, connected with someone in Seattle, in Paris, in Moscow, in whoever, wherever you want. And uh, you can be, let's say, uh, basically my neighbor. Yeah. working, uh, let's say, with me on a, on a specific project or program. So that's why this digital transformation was very important, to be connected to the world with the best-in-class technologies. Uh, Pierre, it is fascinating. So the smaller the world gets, the more connected we become. Thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate the chat. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.